Greetings, fellow survivors, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Zed City, Episode 15, Breach and Clear. So vehicles are not one, well, some vehicles are one wide, but the vehicles I'm probably going to put into, into use are not one wide, meaning that uh, I need to make pathways uh, so that I can exit. So there's a three wide space here, so I can go exiting this section. I can exit this section, obviously, because there's not a lot of debris in the in the way. There's a little bit of debris, though. I might want to clear it out a little bit more. Um, heading northbound. It might... Yeah, I can go out northbound, because I can go through here and up and up. That's a clear path. Northwest might be a little trickier. Um, so in terms of northwest... I'll probably want to remove this wooden building so that I can drive through here and then down. So like get rid of these walls and then that's a clear path all the way home. Zombies do not attack uh, vehicles like ever. So one of the reasons why I've disabled all the vehicles that come with uh, turrets is because zombies don't know to attack those vehicles, and therefore it's a massive exploit. There, I did a lot of balancing, as you might have imagined, when um, creating this scenario, so that those massive stupid exploits are left out purposefully. So a lot, I do get questions of like, why did you, you know, disable these vehicles or wh why disable these events and things like that. And it's all for balancing reasons, for big balancing reasons. Most of the time when I come up with a scenario, I play test it um, pretty rigorously if I have the time to make sure that those exploits and, and problems are worked out. Because if left in, uh, it kind of makes it not fun or not challenging to some degree. Fear of Finding's done. I am going to make the executive decision to get basic vehicles next. I think uh, I think that just makes sense. I don't actually need to build a biofuel refinery though, uh, and I'm probably not going to for the expense. Not yet, at least. All right, let's update home zone. So home zone there. And then I'll also include these walls, but I'm not going to put them inside the base zone. Where are you going? Oh, uranium. Uh, actually haul the whole stack. Perfect. Cheers. So the question I have for you guys is what vehicle to make first? What should my first vehicle be? And I'm only going to give you two options, uh, but I'll explain those options. So either I can make the mule or the vandito. So the advantage of both. Uh, the mule here, where is it? The mule has a cargo capacity of 600 kilograms, but its detractor is it doesn't move particularly fast and it only can have a driver and a passenger. So it's a very poor rescue vehicle. The Vandito, uh, where is it? The Vandito can hold a fraction of the cargo, only 140 kilograms, uh, but it can hold a driver and five passengers, which makes it the superior rescue vehicle. So when I mean rescue vehicle, in order to add people to our colony, we have to go rescue them from the world map. So there will be quests generated where people are like, hey, I'm downed and I need help. And in order to help them, we have to drive out to them, 
tend to them, secure the area, and drive home with them. And if I build a mule, I kind of can't bring anyone but one person because then the person I'm rescuing becomes the passenger. Um, so the mule would be really good for salvaging and the Vendita would be really good for rescuing. And what I build first is up to you. But likely I can't afford two cars initially. Maybe if I eke out every last component on the map here, I could afford two cars. But I don't think that that's highly likely uh, to, to get done. And we have one more day of low threat. So I hope to get some, some real work done. Is it possible for someone you rescue to be infected? Uh, yes. But not likely. The the people that get infected... So, so with the Zombieland mod here, the people that enter your map... Um... Where is that? The people that enter your map that could be infected is... Arriving group is 10%. Um, so the people that we rescue are not going to be infected unless they, like, get bit while they're out there. In other words. And I, I don't imagine a situation where, like, I take so long that they get bit. I think that that's extremely unlikely. Not a zero chance, but a very low chance. This is a temporary wall, which is why it's made of wood. Oh, dude, stop. You'd have gone crazy. All right, new base zone. This is now safe. Everything in here is now enclosed. So the zombies can freely pass left to right, bottom right to the rest of the map, no problem. And now we're breaking down the old road. So this is kind of all set up uh, the way I want it, which is great. I'm trying to think, because this is a secured area, I think what I'm going to have is Stormguard get components out here in the one day of zero threat left. Uh, so... Redfield. There's a component there, but that's not much. There's two components here. Yeah, there's just not a lot of doors. All right, there's there's a cluster of doors and um, heaters here that he'll go for. So this is just trying to ease the burden and the steel demand for components so that Guero is not responsible for making every single component. And I conserve steel... Because vehicles do require a lot of components to construct, as one might imagine. Isn't having a temp wall uh, there? No. So, so zombies cluster around doors, not walls. So having a temporary wall makes no difference for zombie clusterings. That's a decent amount of component haul. Oh, come on. Stop. I'm going to need to caravan them, aren't I? Oh, there we go. Eight. And then Stormguard got four. Really not that bad. Cheers. So the first vehicle looks uh, is going to be the Rescue Vandito. And Vita, Vandito is obviously a reference to State of Decay. 
uh, Stu Decay's van is called a Vendito. The, uh, what it was named by the Vanilla Expanded team was, like, kind of crude, which is why I renamed it. If you know, you know. Ooh, Inspire Creativity. Oh, boy. Uh, what should Stormguard make? Bed, poker, uh, billiards. I'm just going to do bed, poker, billiards. Have you pick between those three? And then do my damnedest to have her not uh, build a shelf or something. I don't think I have any construction projects that could have her accidentally build a shelf. And what's awesome is we actually already have 40 components. 40 is just a random number. It's like kind of a lot. It's not actually the requirement to make vehicles. I don't know the exact amount, but it's not 40. I can tell you that much. God, the rain. Driving rain. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's get a little bit more steel. This rain is making it really hard to see the hell is going on here. Because I have only about a th quarter of a day, third of a day before the zombies come back. We have uh, about 1,200 steel. Here, Stormguard, you come out here. Get a little bit more steel. Bathorn, thank you for the resub, too. Can we bet on quality? Sure. One second, I'll start that in just a sec. So Stormguard, for reference, is a 10 constructor. Will the bed be legendary? Yes or no? And let's hope it's a bed and not, um, not a shelf or something. I have been known to suffer from sh being shellfish. <laughs> I'm not sorry. That's the worst part. Uh, the lockpick zombie can now get past the trap corridor. Is that by design? Uh, yes. The designs are in flux, so everything that you see right now is will be changing. Dog treat. Okay. Uh, looks like a bed is going to be what we go for. Nice. I think, yeah, by the time they're awake, zombies are back, so I'm going to restrict to base. If you're wondering about the water, we have about uh, 11,000 liters. Uh, and yeah, I'll let uh, I'll let Redfield start it. Obviously, he's not going to finish it. Red, we actually need you to cook. I didn't manage to get any um, any hunting done, unfortunately. But our meat supply looks okay for now, which is really unfortunate because there was a lot of easy things to hunt, like horses that never fight back. Poor horses. Silly horses shouldn't be so yummy. Clutch, thank you for bits, dude. No, oh, we're about to have a brownout event. Uh, let's flick the components bench off. Oh, there goes the power. Bye-bye, power. I'll miss you.
The power is out uh, just because of a prolonged eclipse. It's not because I'm not generating enough power normally. It's just long eclipses will do that. All right, finishing touches by Stormguard. So here's the prediction. Ooh, a zombie attack already. Oh, and the southeast. That's uh, close to the base. Uh, I hear a tank zombie. I don't know where it is. I think it's coming up with this attack. But I gotta, I gotta have my uh, eyes out for it because obviously, tank zombies are home wreckers. Come on, legendary. I'll take masterwork. I'll take it. For a level 10 constructor, that's still still pretty pretty good. So this is Redfield and Zeus, uh, Redfield and Zeusens, and then Stormguard and Gore are going to claim the better one. Yep, there's the tanker. Right, I'm going to want to deal with that, like, pretty much immediately. So as soon as Redfield moves that bed, one, two, three, draft, and run. And this is what I mean by, like, escort. See how the zombies kind of escort the tank? So if you have a case where there's a giant swarm and you're worried about the escorts overrunning you, uh, what you can do is you can use a rocket swarm launcher to clear out the swarm and leave the tank behind, because the tank's probably not going to get significantly hurt by a swarm, by a rocket swarm launch. Come on, zombies. All right. And now we smoke the tank. The other thing I have to make sure is that the entryway is not zombified. But we're good. So in about eight days, there's going to be a long period of um, ri of low risk, which might be a good time to send out... Oh, jeez, there is a zombie right there. Might be a good time to send out a party to uh, to go do some scavenging or rescuing if I get a rescue quest. Tank is dead. Let's get back inside. The reason why uh, the game looks weird when there's a lot of rain is its bitrate compression issues. Uh, as soon as the rain goes away, it will be less blurry. If you were wondering. Oh, yeah, so I'm sure it's less blurry now. Because the uh, there's not tons of pixel changes. Yeah, super super heavy rain is not conducive to spotting stray zombies. Absolutely. Well, uh, basic vehicles will be done researched in like a second. Can you just leave Stormguard alone? For the love of God, that poor lady has more muscle parasites than. Chinese pork eaters that eat it raw. Yeah, the uh, the brain will will uh, briefly irrigate uh, the entire map, but uh, as the rain goes away, yeah, it's not going to be arable. Unbelievable amount of parasites. Right, and being warmed, I'm going to need warm clothing. So what I'm going to do first is to make some pants. And shirts. So I'll do pants first. Or pants, but don't use cloth. 
and four shirts, but don't use cloth. She's not sickly. She's just getting really bad luck. Which is unfortunate. But it's just the way it is sometimes. Alright, current priority is to get a working bandito built. And then next research project will be up to you. So we have modern bathroom. Um, that would allow for like showers. Um, actually, no, is that even... I think I researched that. Yeah, I already have modern bathroom fixtures. Hold on, let me fix this. There we go. So beer brewing, psycho brewing, if we want the drugs. Uh, Multi-analyzer, if we want... Um, or not multi-analyzer. It should be advanced fabrication. Man, I'm really bad at these poles. Ignore, ignore everything. Let me fix everything. All right, so beer brewing, psycho brewing, water heating, if we want hot showers, advanced fabrication, if we want advanced components, blowback operation for better weapons, borders, if we want to bomb zombies, or battery. The choice is yours. Intense music. Love it. Susan. I'm also going to change the cook priorities around so that we actually get cooking again. What I do first once I have cars, I will ask you. I have a long history of not making those decisions for myself. <laughs> bingo, bango, basic vehicles are done. All right, looks like uh, blowback gonna be the choice. So blowback ops. Which gives me auto pistol and machine pistol. Not weapons that I particularly care about, but it does lead to better weapons. What car won the pole? It's above my head. Alright, here we go. We want a garage bench. And then for now, I think what I'm going to do is have all the car parts here. Just so we don't haul them over to the regular stockpile. Uh, other things I want to do is put garage doors in. So I'm going to put one here. I'm going to put one here. And here. Yep. Sort of airlocks. And for that, I'm going to need more granite cut, which means, Guero, I'm going to have to put you on mining again. Which means, well, actually, hmm. 
I'll have this one change materials to be a little cheaper. At some point, if uh, zombies are attacking your walls, it doesn't really matter what material you build it out of, they're going to get through pretty quickly. Does it benefit from a tool cabinet? Uh, I don't think so. It benefits from a um, garage cabinet, which is a different device. It's a different linking bench. So, one that I absolutely cannot afford in any reasonable shape or form. Yeah, vehicles cannot go uh, on overhead mountain tiles. So you have to drive on overland tiles only. They don't, they're not uh, subterranean vehicles. All right, so we are peaked at 100% threat and dropping now, but we're gonna have a hell of a swarm to deal with as a result meaning more gunpowder. Yeah, I'm probably pretty sure that like you can go into the vehicle mod setup and allow them to go under mountains. They just don't. And I'm not planning on changing that because it is a balancing mechanic I'm relying upon instead. But if you want to change it, have at it. I sure won't. You need food. Moisture pump was researched, um, but I, I actually I should get it built. I was the priority is getting a Vendito built, but once I have the Vendito built, I'll put moisture pumps in. I just don't want to use steel and components that are needed for the van for moisture pumping, because uh, I don't want to, you know, have a moisture pump co constructed and then just run out of resources to actually get more resources. That'd be bad, real bad. Come on, get chunks. Square out, get chunks. We have uh, a granite block stone cutting enabled. Oh, they're getting enraged. Stormguard, need you. Bashing my door down. Silly zombies. All right, blowback is done. So with the blowback done, that leads to gas op or gun turrets. I will mention, however, that gun turrets do require steel to reload, which is why I didn't rush towards them because I have a very finite amount of steel. Again, this is why there's no deep drilling or mining. Because with enough turrets, you can kind of just negate the threat of zombies. For the most part. So they were... You know, gun turrets really aren't that strong in this scenario compared to other scenarios that might include them. Death on Xbox, thanks for the resub. Better late than never. <laughs> Not saying that he needs to resub, saying that he was apologizing for being late. I don't expect subs. Or attendance, or anything. Don't expect anything. Never be disappointed. What's the best cheap weapon for zombie slaying? Probably heavy SMG. Heavy, heavy SMGs are fairly accurate weapons. They do decent damage, and they're pretty affordable. A better weapon, of course, would be a charge rifle. That would be a better S heavy SMG, but they're very expensive. So charge rifles, especially Masterwork or Legendary quality charge rifles, would be probably the best thing to kill zombies with. Um, 
but not necessarily all that affordable, especially early game. All right, gas op seems to be the popular choice, so I will queue that up. But what I think I'm going to do for now is to have Zeusin um, help in the farm before research. The free storm got up to do more construction. Oh god, what is that noise? Game, you scary. Right, we are at zero threat, so there's no more zombies spawning for a bit. What I'm hoping to do is get the Vendito in six days so that we can go driving. Lady Stormguard! Stormguard herself just resubbed. I hope I'm doing uh, your character's name justice here. Lady Stormguard. Oh, shoot. They got stuck. Hey, you guys told me to open this door, so I blame you. This is now a mega angry swarm of ragers because they got stuck in a room and they're getting pissed off. Oh, and they're coming to the base. Sweet. Time to wake everyone up. We have a dangerous situation of a wall breach. And it's only going to get worse as the ragers get enraged. All right, shoot the enraged first. Now is kind of a bad time to, like, actually remove that, bud. No, no, don't find a new way to go kill yourself. Please and thank you. Forty-eight percent on that door. Gotta have to prioritize targets for the enraged ones that have the glowing eyes because they go straight for the door to break their way in. So what happens is once zombies, once there's a high density of zombies, they get pissed and they start to get violent and go enraged and that's what happened here. I'm going to have my people take a breather and then I'm going to have to fix this situation here, which I am engineering a, uh, a future solution for it. That will effectively deal with uh, zombies blobbing like that, but I don't. I don't have set up yet. Um. All right, you're sick. I forgot about that. Ugh, more rage are coming. Ugh. Stormguard, go to sleep. Redfield, go repair this door. That doesn't look like sleep, Stormguard, but... Close, but... No cigar. Alright, well that... Painful situation is over. There's still a high density cluster here that kind of got stuck uh opening that door was really a bad idea i mean i couldn't have known it could have been treasure or something but obviously it wasn't uh but the solution to deal with uh wall breaches for the future is to have a zombie shocker installed here so that in the case of a breach we can actually stun all the zombies that are in this area and knock them unconscious making them a lot easier to deal with so I'm, i have it set up for a shocker here that way, if they ever get over the wall, we can just taser them, essentially. Which should be a bit easier. Uh, 
right. Guero has probably mined enough granite. Then I'm going to pull mining on the lower priority and actually start working on the Vendito. So taking a look, it is one engine, one alternator, four exhaust, two suspension, four wheels. One engine, one alternator, two exhaust, four suspension, four wheels. Right? Yep. And yeah, I don't think any, I think don't think anyone else is going to do the smithing. Oh, another thing is uh, it's getting colder and colder and colder. So the temperature of this room sucks. Uh, I think I don't want to make regular heaters. I'm just going to put a campfire in there as like low tech as that is. That's how I'm going to heat it for now, because I have a lot of I have some wood. I'd like to get to central heating at some point, but we have other research priorities for now. Okay, I need more backup. These rage zombies are starting to really build up. Uh, this vent is closed. Yeah, I should open that and open the door because of the season and turn on the heater. Much to be done. Hey, leave the door open. There we go. Right, so now the farm's heated again. Thanks for the reminder. And the crafting room is heated-ish, as is research. Are double doors less attractive to zombies? Um, zombies are attracted to all doors. I'm not really sure how to answer your question apart from that. If it's a door, zombies are going to want to be at it. So what's going to be ideal is literally just breaking these doors down and possibly the walls down so they don't blob into this area in the future. Because that has created a, a dangerous situation that is going to continue to be annoying as they get enraged and then attack my my walls. Exhaust suspension, suspension counts were uh, reversed. Two, two, four exhaust, two suspension. Thank you. Fixed it. Numbers are hard, man. So after this next big zombie threat hump, we'll clear it out and then we'll try to get the Vendito going somewhere. That will be fun. What to research after gas operation is done. I'll leave that up to you. All right, we just need the wheels. We're already starting to build it. I also, of course, we'll need the doors. That will get done at some point. Back to Redfield.
We're gonna make room for doors now. We're actually gonna get it, do away with um, a door here. Fewer doors. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Zed City, which originally streamed live on Twitch October 15th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. Hope to catch you in next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow zombie slayers.